What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and today I'm going to show you how to use the sidechain feature on your noise gate plugin in Logic Pro. So with that said, let's just get straight into the tutorial. Basically what it's going to show you is how to take a sort of static sounding synth sound or pad sound and create some vibrato to it or a nice little noise gate kind of gated sound to those uh, pads or synth sounds, that whatever it may be. And uh, basically that will be controlled by another percussive instrument track in your session. So uh, if you don't really understand what I mean, you're going to send right now. Let's go ahead and play out this analog pad sound right here. So actually, this is part of uh, Finish the Beat Friday's episode two. So if you want to download the session and create another song with that, Check out that this Friday for Finish the Beat Friday episode 2. Well, that's besides the point. <laughs> Basically, that is the pad sound in its dry format. Now, let the hi-hats play behind it because that's going to be driving this noise gate. So, first step we got to do is go to our hi-hats because that's going to be the controller. Send it out to a bus. Uh, let's go bus 2019. Bus 19. What I like to tell you guys is usually go to the middle right here. Option on your keyboard, hold it down and click. That'll send it out at unity gain. And just make sure that you bring down the volume on that auxiliary track that Logic automatically creates, just because then you'll be doubling that hi-hat sound and you don't need it. You can go ahead and delete it after, but for now I'm just gonna bring down the fader right there. Next step we gotta do is go to our analog pad, go to our insert section, go to dynamics, noise gate, bring that up. So I drag it from my other screen. And then on our side chain right here, bring in the um, the what we bust the hi hats out of, and I believe it was 19. And then what we're going to go ahead and do right now, right now the hi hats is coming into our noise gate through bus 19, and it's going to control the way our pads is being played out. And here we go. So as you can hear right there, you already got like this noise kind of gated sound, sort of like a gated synth sound. But we're going to go ahead and make that sound a little bit better and show you what you guys need to change in order to get sort of the sounds that you guys are looking for, what you need to change. So if you want to get a softer sounding um, sound, not so hard hitting like this one, just bring up your tack time and that will soften it out. So basically right there, as you move your threshold up, that kind of affects the, the noise gate more. So I'm going to go ahead and play by bringing the threshold down. You're going to get your dry sound. You bring the threshold up. You're going to get that noise gated sound that uh, I want to show you in this video. And then you can go ahead and uh, play with your release times and hold times and kind of hear the kind of sounds you get. So it kind of adds a bit more dynamics to your track rather than having everything kind of stagnant. And this will kind of fit into your song nicely because it is being controlled by a percussive sound in your track. So if I go ahead and bypass this on and off, you'll hear the difference between the two. So here's on, off, and on. So right there you can see the cool effects it can create with the sidechain in your noise gate plugin. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section. And like I said, this session will be available for download on Friday for Finish the Beat Friday episode 2, so keep a lookout for that. 
And uh, yeah, remember to subscribe for more good videos, guys. I will talk to you guys soon. Later.